Okay. You know what I mean? Because if, 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 I, if, if a track makes me feel a certain way, I need it to come across to you, giving you that same kind of feeling. So, like, this track was, I'm telling you, like, when you heard that track, it was... Exactly. Yeah. I got a real quick question for the audience. How many of y'all have been in a studio session with a, a major recording artist? By the show of hands. I mean, be honest. All right. I'm working on that for ATL Beat Battle because I want y'all to have that experience like he just said is he's right there because you can have beat CDs all the time but if you right there, you ready with the hook, you vibing because a lot of time music comes off of the vibe, it's much more successful that way. But what he was saying is he had a manager and he also was working at DTP so he was in-house. That's another way you guys can get in is sometimes you got to do stuff for free to get to the level where you want to be. And um, I know that I interned at Hot 1079. I used to sleep in my car because they didn't pay me. It was too expensive to drive from Atlanta to Kennesaw for two hours when I was working at a club getting off at two, had to be at the radio station for four. So I'm just telling y'all my story. I would wash up in the bathroom upstairs. Nah, but it was too expensive to go back and forth. It wasn't paying me. Plus the club was shitting on me. So anyway, but with that being said, I still have those relationships because I was always on time. I was always professional. I was never acting tired even though I only had two hours of sleep. Um, back back to LT Mo. Um, when you go in a studio with an artist, do you have the hook on your track already? Not only do I come in with a hook, I might pop up with a full song. I will write the full song and play it for that artist. I ain't gonna name no names, but I will do that. And you will be surprised how many of these artists will be like, yeah, I'm fucking with that. The whole thing. Yeah. I, mean, I show up. I show up ready for whatever. Oh, you need a hook? I will write on the spot. So, yeah. Hey, can I ask a question? Okay, let me let him answer. Come, come right here, DK. <coughs> I, 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 a lot of, uh, I do two for what I call two for ones. Like, like, like Mo was just saying, I give you like, as I said, that right there was a complete song for Usher. So, what I do in situations like that, especially if the beat sounds like something that a rapper can rap to, what I'll do is I'll have the full complete song, and then I'll make a rap version to it where I chop out the verses that the, the, the singer was singing on, leave the hook and take one of those verses and turn it into a bridge. And you take that to him, you know, like he was saying, sometimes you give him a whole song like that, I want that right there. You know what I'm saying? And then if it's not moving with, you know, a, a R&B artist or a pop artist or whatever, I send it over to a rapper which I just did the same situation with Blige a couple of days ago. You know what I mean? It was an R&B song for, I forget who it was for, but he took it and, you know, the, the rap version, chop it up, put a bridge on it, full song. That way they don't have to think so hard. You're, making, you're actually making the artist's job easier. I did the hard work. You know, I came up with the track. I came up with this concept. Me and a writer or the writer, you know, if you're a writer yourself, came up with the song, you just gave it to the artist, like, you know, just fill in the blanks and you got to hit. You know what I mean? So... I need to ask about, I need to, I need to bring Carol up, because I'm back about the money. Since you wrote the song and the track, you know, this is from my understanding, a producer gets 50 cents, the artist gets 50%. But if you wrote it and you, and then, and then, your 50% is split with the writer, not for your producer. Not my role. No, on, on his side. Yeah. Explain the money. <laughs> or, or Carol. Your, Carol's a lawyer. She an entertainment lawyer. I'll, take some I'll have her uh, speak after you. If, I, if, 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 the hook, if, if the hook came from me, or the bridge, what is it? if I just did a hook, then I might get an additional, you know, 10% or something like that. If I did the bridge too, then that's, you know, 70%. Go ahead and give me 70. You know what I'm saying? But another thing, you know, and, and, and you know, aspiring producers out there, you can't get mad at this. Sometimes it happens. It doesn't happen to me because 
I, I put in enough work to where my 50 stays my 50. You know what I'm saying? Nobody really takes any any percentages from me, but you know, writers that I that I work with, uh, it goes in 50-50, and an artist that we give the track to didn't change anything about the song, but that artist has enough star power to just command 20 from that song off. Diddy, Beyonce, Snoop, anybody who has any kind of power, he's going to take some publish, period. But it's never happened. What happened to me one time with T-Pain? And um, I was cool with it. You know what I'm saying? I, I did, I, I've done two or three songs with Pain, and I've been fucking with Pain for a couple of years now. So, but uh, now, you know, right now it's, he just can't snatch anything from me all kind of ways, you know what I mean? But before, it was just like, yeah, you know, I need 50% of the song, which means however he gets his 50% hit 50 of the song, it had to come from the producer or the writers or whoever, you know, so now nah, I got to get with the writers and uh, how, how, how we want to break this down, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm not giving up 50 of my 50, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it, it, it happens though, but, you know, you put in, you get enough, a big enough body of work or get that one smash hit out there, you know, now you, you know, my 50 is my 50, you know what I'm saying? And if I, I had my writers write on the song and, you know, 70% of this song is mine, and that's just how it is. You know, prime example of that was, um, Polo does it, Jock, what Jock had, to, you know, Nitty really kind of wrote, it's going down, you know. So that kind of situation where you're trying to uh, be a producer to, to produce for a mainstream artist, you kind of just gotta go with the flow without losing yourself. You know what I'm saying? You gotta, you gotta kind of. I hate to say this, man. Forgive me, y'all. You gotta keep up with the Joneses, but add your flavor to it. You know what I'm saying? Maintain your identity. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, regardless if you feel like what's going on is crap. These A&Rs and these record labels go to Billboard.com and they go to the Hot 100 and they look to see what's hot and that's what they want. They want to mimic whatever's going on in the Hot 100 or the Top 10 or whatever. That's what they want to mimic. So you can send them hot stuff that's the new sound and be innovative and all that, but at the end of the day, nine times out of ten, the A&R, whoever you send it to, nothing gets A&R, but people just not innovative in the mainstream. They're not. That's just that's just it, you know what I'm saying? It takes a it takes a powerhouse to break through. You know what I'm saying? Somebody like Kanye. Kanye had he had already had success with Jay-Z, you know what I'm saying? He did what he did. He came out with the sound he came out with and it worked. Because he was already a platinum plus Grammy winning producer and all that. And he had the juice, the rock was hot. Just all the planets was lined up for him. So whatever he came with, niggas was gonna listen. And it just so happened, people in the industry that told him, man, I don't know. He got everybody told him no. He funded his own thing, came out, guess what? All the people in the industry that was telling them no was dead wrong because what? We as fans of music loved it. So, unless you got the Kanye power, man, you know, play the game.